The Texas State Board of Education is extremely important because the decisions made here regarding standards will impact what is taught across the nation. However, the Board of Education may not look how you expect. Rather than being composed of teachers, historians, and scientists, the 2010 Board of Education, the last time that the standards were up for review, was composed of dentists, real estate agents, Christian fundamentalists, and other professionals that had no real experience in education. One former chairman, Don McLeroy, was a renowned Christian fundamentalist who had been quoted multiple times saying that we needed to, quote, stand up to the experts. These so-called experts have taken over our national government. Well, I disagree with those experts. Somebody's got to stand up to experts. I disagree with these experts. Somebody's got to stand up to experts. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that experts are experts for a reason. You don't see historians walking into dentist's office and filling their own cavities. Just the same, we shouldn't have dentists and real estate agents creating curriculum on topics that they know very little about. Despite much protest, many of the political and religious ideals made the final cut for the standards in textbooks. The Texas Freedom Network, a social activist group which advocates for religious freedom and civil liberties, was quoted saying that, the new textbooks also included passages that suggest that Moses influenced the writing of the Constitution, that the roots of democracy can be found in the Old Testament. Not only is this idea absurd, but it is a prime example of the conservative Christian board members pushing their religious ideals onto the public school system, which should be a religiously neutral place. The Texas State Board of Education also made amendments such as removing hip hop because it was deemed culturally irrelevant and replacing it with country music. This seemingly small change has much larger implications considering the fact that the accomplishments of African Americans have been historically overlooked and undercredited. This amendment is yet another example of the whitewashing of American culture. There's no denying the fact that hip-hop has greatly influenced modern culture, so why are our textbooks denying it? Any sensible teacher will see this and want to make a difference for his or her students. However, it's harder than you might think. While there's technically nothing stopping a teacher from gathering his or her own sources and lessons, the system of standardized tests largely prevents this. The sheer size of the standards are a huge obstacle to teachers who already struggle to cover everything in the curriculum while preparing for increasingly influential standardized tests. This laundry list style of standards ultimately handicaps students by teaching them only to remember a list of names rather than teaching them to think critically and solve problems. However, there is a workaround to this problem. Because the curriculum of advanced placement courses are set by College Board rather than the Texas State Board of Education, there are several advantages. While the course was praised by many organizations and parents, it was condemned by groups such as the Republican National Committee and the Board of Education itself for its, quote, lack of patriotism and respect for authority. Aside from having an arguably more accurate curriculum to begin with, AP teachers also have more time and authority to create their own lessons with their own sources and materials. This provides much greater freedom for the teachers setting out to change the way students in public schools are learning history.